So let's bring this last story in with Chris Brown and, and Soldier Boy. So recently, we all knew that there was going to be a boxing match, but that it all started when Chris Brown, his old girlfriend, had a pick that was liked by Soldier Boy. And Chris Brown responded to it with saying, don't be liking my girl's picks. He then challenged Soldier Boy to a boxing match. And Soldier Boy said, fine, I'll beat up on you like you did Rihanna. The boxing match was scheduled, and just recently we found out that Chris Brown canceled it. Why? Because he refused to sign a contract. Now Chris Brown is saying that it's because there were too many middlemen getting into the midst of it and it was supposed to be just between the two of them. Soldier Boy, however, is saying, no, you know what, Chris Brown is a coward. It's interesting when you look at this because the whole fact that he beat up Chris Brown, went after Rihanna, beat her up, now we know that Carucci filed a police report and a restraining order against Chris Brown that back in January, February, actually December and January, he was saying that he would kill her. He was saying that if he couldn't have her, that no one could, and was threatening to beat her up and kill her. And now we find out that he refuses to sign a contract to get into, the boxing, get into a boxing ring with a man. How sad is it that Chris Brown can beat up a woman, but he can't face a guy? So we're going to see how this unfolds over time. And now apparently there's been a um, kind of a ceasefire between the two of them saying that there is no beef anymore between them. They're just going to let it go. But something tells me that's not going to be what happens in the end. So let's watch all of this as it unfolds. Thanks for watching and back to you. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Chapman J. We're talking over Cleveland Hip Hop News Weekly. First up, we have... The beef between Lil Wayne and Cash Money, you know, he's unpaid royalties, $51 million. Jay Prince has stepped in and vowed to get his money. I think personally that I don't, you know, Jay Prince has jumped in. Maybe it's a guarantee, maybe not. Jay Prince is also suing Cash Money for unpaid royalties because he is the one, his son actually is the one that brought Drake and introduced Drake to Young Money and Cash Money and has not received payment yet for that or of none of the albums that Drake has produced. Um, me personally, I don't know how he's going to get the money for Lil Wayne if he hasn't gotten his money yet. Everybody knows that he's rumored to be, you know, some type of enforcer. You know, he's never been one to back down, never been a stranger to beef. I don't know how he's going to get the money, but I think he's just going to blow down on him and say, hey, look, you don't get mine, don't step in Texas, or I'm going to take mine. You know, so... Stay tuned for that. In other news, we have Lil Wayne at the All-Star Game, All-Star Weekend, I should say. You know, reunited with Manny Fresh, Turk, and Juve. You know, along there was Remy Ma was at his party, Fat Joe, DJ Khaled, 2 Chains, and hosted by our one and only LeBron James. You know, I heard the party was crunk, wasn't there myself, wish I could have been there, but I wasn't. And... You know, that was a great success. I personally would have went to that party. On the other hand, Birdman was throwing his own party in his in their hometown of New Orleans, Louisiana, at the same time. Rumor has it that there were a lot of people flocking from his party over to Lil Wayne's party because it was a better party. Like I said before, I would have went to Wayne's party instead of Birdman's party, but that's just my opinion. You know, I don't know what you guys think. Let me know, and I'll fill you in on that. Next, we have Big Sean. Big Sean was out of signing, CD signing this week, and uh, there was a reported incident where a guy tried to assault him. Uh, Big Sean came out and said, you know, that he heard that the guy had, you know, mental problems and was unstable when he's off of his meds. The guy was arrested. Big Sean was unfazed, went on to sign some more CDs, and when he left, he was in good spirits, from my understanding. Other news we have trending now is Chance the Rapper. He is turning down $10 million deals left and right from all the big moguls in the hip hop industry. I think he's doing it because he wants to keep his creativity. Everybody knows once you get in the industry, they take all of that and you're going to be a puppet. So he has also claimed that, you know, he wants to show more artists that if you stay independent and keep your creativity, you can make just as much money as signing with a big label by doing that also. He also has plans to do stuff with Apple, maybe on iTunes, to get his stuff on iTunes and things of that nature. But we'll see. You know, big ups to Chance the Rapper for all the Grammys that he won. You know, the, the album was a huge success and I loved it.
other other news and what everybody's talking about is the Migos thing this weekend. Migos over the weekend got into it with Sean Kingston. Reports have it that they were stomping him, kicking his butt. But you know, Sean Kingston came right back on Instagram and said, hey, look at me, look at my face. Does it look like I've gotten beat up? You know, the police did arrest one of his um, entourage for shooting a gun. You know, he says it was no fight, but then why are you guys shooting guns? You know what I'm saying? He was pulled over for a minor traffic accident, or excuse me, not accident, but offense. And when the police detained him and asked him questions, he refused to name any names. So, you know, he's keeping his street. He says there was no beef. Other people were saying there is beef. The reported incident was over Soldier Boy, you know, and Quavo having beef. And that's what sparked the altercation. They were seen hanging out together over the weekend, All-Star weekend, but things turned sour. And everybody's, everybody's suspicion is that the beef was between Migos and Sean Kingston, even though he denies it. Let me know what you think. I think it was, if there was no beef at all, then why are your boys shooting guns to break up the fight? You know, like I said, two were arrested. The gunman was arrested along with somebody else that is on the rise. The police have not made any statements and have not named any names. So stay tuned to that, and I'll let you know what's going on. Other hip-hop news I just want to quickly put out there is the Biggie Smalls documentary slash movie that's coming out. You know, Tupac has one dropping, I think it's, believe, June 11th of this summer, 717. And, you know, I, big ups to that movie. I can't wait to see it. I hope it's portrays him in a good light and actually keeps it real about what was going on his in with his life on and in and out with Dr. Dre and all of them and Death Row, you know. Uh, other news we have Future is dropping an album this Friday, so stay tuned to that. He has a little bit of legal problems with Jocko and I've heard that that might be the reason why he's dropping this album. He is old. He owes him, I think, one more album off his sixth album deal or whatever. And maybe that's why he's dropping this album because uh, the brother said he wants is his unpaid royalties. His fair percentage of what he's supposed to get for actually signing Future back in 2010. Hello, this is The Breakdown with Tiff the Biff, where I break down whatever I'm feeling like at the time. Today's breakdown is about the strength of the U.S. dollar and how it's affecting our economy. According to Secretary Treasury, Mr. Munich, our U.S. dollar is stronger than ever. Go USA. However, many other countries would disagree, such as the Euro. Our dollar now is about equal to the Euro. Before, we used to be above it. Don't seem very strong now, does it? He believes the dollar is still the leading dollar in the U.S. and the country. U.S., yes, country, no. Especially when prices and something as popular as restaurants is suffering. Many people aren't going out to eat because the economy is rising as their dollar is remaining the same. Doesn't leave much wiggle room to go out and pay $100 for a meal. So a lot of people are choosing to stay home and eat, which is affecting restaurants, which in turn will affect our economy. How strong does that make the dollar? Robo-advisors on Wall Street are now replacing personal advisors because they feel they exclude the guess what attitude of investing. They're giving us a little bit more of a this is exactly what your dollar is going to do by using computers to tell us the exact calculations and amounts in which you will receive after investing. Is it a good thing? Maybe. In my opinion, not really, because now there's more people being cut out of a position, which leaves more American dollars not being used. Once again, the strength, right? The economy alone has been on the rise, which is causing everyone to think more about their dollar. For instance, the Dow closed at 0.2%, which is about $20,775 and a little change, the ninth consecutive high in history. However, who is that dollar really affecting? Is it affecting me? Is it affecting you? Who knows? Maybe I'll cover that on the next breakdown or maybe I'll be feeling something else.